Hello everyone and welcome to episode 33 of Let's Play Diablo and 2, or Let's Play Diablo 2. As always, joining me is my friend Dalton. Say hello to everybody. Hey. And we are going to venture into the palace and kick some ass beneath the palace as we head toward one of the coolest areas in this game, in my opinion at least, the Arcane Sanctuary. Let's get started, shall we? Quest log. Look for the arcane sanctuary within the palace. Let's go! And we shall have fun with this. Oh, uh, where's the harem girls? I want harem girls. Oh, God. Okay, we, there are two entrances to the lower level of the palace. Which do you want to take? Uh. There's one on both sides. It doesn't matter. It's going to be exploring the entire thing anyway. I guess this one. Okay. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. We fixed the uh, darkened sun in the last episode. That's cool. Dune Beast. Here's another new type of enemy. Dune Beast Corpse. Sorry, it's not really... It wasn't a corpse earlier, but... It sure is now. I turned him into a corpse. Now he's my skeleton minion. Invaders! Spirit's calling me! There's Lord. an enemy called Invader. Oh, yeah. So, I quoted Maiden. Oh... Oh, shit! Oh, God! Should've walked in that room! Oh, my God! I'm coming. It kinda, I kinda sucks like... About, like you know, it kinda sucks about these kinda, like, point-and-click games, is if you get, like, trapped in a room... With a bunch of enemies and you try to run away, like your enemy sometimes, like your character sometimes just attacks them instead. Which is, ha which just happened to me. Yeah. I kind of want to record a podcast, and, and I'm not saying I'm going to do this for certain. You want that chip, Ruby? Where's that? It's over here, on the ground. Just hold down all, remember, and you'll see items. Oh. I kind of like the music in this uh, area of the game. It's got the chanting. You hear it? No, not really. I mean, it's not going on right. I mean, it will. There was chanting a little bit ago. No, I don't, I don't think I remember any music from this game so far on my end. Oh, well, uh, this game definitely has music in it. It's a uh, kind of just there in the background being atmospheric which is the best for the games like this so it's not the kind of thing that gets necessarily stuck in your head until you play the game as much as I have yeah so it's not like doom where the the music just like gets shoved in your face and it's like oh yeah I know that and then you and then you hear some metal song, and you're like, hey, that's Doom. <laughs> yeah, just like, oh, that sounds familiar. You're sitting there, like, on E1M1 going, no remorse! No regret! <laughs> Pretty much. We don't care what he meant. And there's Nothing. one from... Then there is the thing that should not be is also in there. Like, a, It's in the first Doom. And I can't remember what uh, map it is, though. Uh... I think it's the call like a Cthulhu. Uh, never mind. There's, uh... I think there was an unused track that was South of Heaven. Oh, well, South of Heaven was used in, um... Oh, shit, what was it from? It was used in Doom 2 in a level, I think. But there was, um, Silent Scream was an unused track. Uh, uh, which is from S South of Heaven. I love- South of Heaven's my favorite Slayer album, I don't know about you. Uh, my, my, mine's Hell Awaits. That's a good choice, it's probably my second- second favorite. Either that or Show yeah. No Mercy. A lot of people don't like Show No Mercy. You know, I'm not really a big fan of it either, to be honest. I love how Judas priest -y the riffs are, that's what I really like about Show No Mercy. Like, uh, I'm yeah, a like, big fucking priest fan, so 
Yeah, like I don't like I don't have a problem with Show No Mercy. Like I don't think it's like a bad album or anything. I just like like compared to the other albums, it just not doesn't like stack up as good it, like to me at least. More Dune beasts. And then Hell Awaits is like a lot more heavier and. Yeah, Hell Awaits is where they kind of moved moved into their more traditional sound. And I love the intro to the title track. Oh yeah. I fucking played that song and I seen him at Mayhem two years ago. Fucking that that driving drum, like <laughs> fucking oh, yeah. awesome. I love Hello Waits, dude. Oh, and the fucking production sounds really cool. Like, with all the fucking reverb on the the vocals, how it sounds echoey, and the fucking bass is really loud and you can actually hear it and it sounds really cool. Yeah, I love that about like eighties like music. 80s recordings, you could frequently hear the bass very clearly. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Go back and listen to, uh, um, I don't know, fucking... Kill them all. I was gonna, I, I was gonna go, uh, Dio's first album. Oh, yeah. Like, you could hear it clear as day on Dio's first album. It's great. I love it. Um, where are you? I'm trying to figure out where to go. Hang on. <laughs> I'll find you because we, we, we're... We cleared out this level. Told you it would be short. Oh, that's quick. Yep. Yeah, like even fucking. Well, I think Metallica has a big problem with the bass sound. Uh, even on like Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to hear. Except when they allow Cliff to do so allowed Cliff to do solos, which th they had one in uh, Master of Puppets. Yeah. And of course, they have like a little bass riff that he does that's awesome and uh. For whom the bell tolls. Oh yeah. And he and he is like the lead on um, Orion as well. Yeah, like you, you can hear really hear his bass on that because there's a lot of bass leads on that. Well, that whole part of this, you know that part. Yeah. That, that's Cliff playing that. Yeah, and the intro. Like the effects and stuff. Yeah, it's like... And also the effect... And also the intro to Damage Inc.'s... His bass effects, too. Yeah. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.